So this is Chicklet, and she is a Pomeranian Chihuahua. Let's get this off the so it caught up in there. Oh, <laughs> she's must have caught in her fur. There we go. Yeah. So she's actually one that looks forward to her grooms. I think just because uh, she's so hot. Hey, eh? you're gonna feel better. So because of her heavy matting, she will be a difficult dog to groom. Not because she's difficult, because she is just a sweetheart. Um, but the process itself takes me a little bit longer. I am going to try to uh, use a number seven on her. Um, but I'm not too sure if it will go through. And if not, I'll have to use the number 10. So I'm going to get started here. And I hope you enjoy it. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. All right. I'm just going to add some oil. There. Okay, ready? Dog has this color of fur. Um, usually their skin is quite pink underneath, so that's why it's better if you can to shave with a seven rather than a ten. But sometimes you don't really have a choice. Okay, Hope I can get through it all here. So she's about nine and a half years old. So the skin starts to get a little bit loose as well. The skin's actually really healthy underneath here, which is nice to see. And you can see it's really oh, one big fur ball. Okay, okay I'm going to raise it up here. Good girl. Hey, good girl. You like this part, huh? Alright, let's see what we can do here. I was going to try to keep the ears a little longer if I could, because I did grow them out, but I'm not sure what will be left once I get those mats out, so we'll leave those for a little later. So much better after. 
See, her owner did try to trim her face, which was good, so she could see. Okay, back up, baby. Okay, I'm going to use the number 10 on the inside of the legs. I have to come see what I'm up to. Okay, good girl. Chicklet here has been coming to me for just over five years now. She was about four and a half ish when she came. Mm -hmm. Little sensitive feet there, little girl. Hey, back up. Hey, hey. Nope. matted under here as well. Just trying to get those out of there. Hey. 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 Chicklet. Hey. Hey. Oh. You can be difficult just because of the mats. I don't need you to be difficult also. A little resistant with the feet. I'm assuming it's just because she's got some matting in there, so her feet are probably a little sore. Change the cover blade. Don't want to use a number 10 on there. You just have to move around. 
the scissors in there instead. A lot of dogs don't like those clippers on the legs for the vibration. I just want to face that way. Come on. All these mats in here, it makes it a little more of a challenge. Hey, I know. There's a big one in there. So she's been walking on that. So probably is a little sore for her. There we go. See, we still don't got it. There you go, good girl. Yeah, that was kind of what was tucked in there. Hey, okay. yeah, let's try this side. Right around this dew claw, it's all messed up. Oh, jeez. Come here, little girl. Okay, here, I'm going to put the mat down. up her feet it's taking away some of her grip so I don't want her to slip. You just stay still don't be <laughs> also gives her grip to resist a bit more too. Yeah so the dew claws kind of wrapped right around Show you in a minute. Come on. You have to be right at the edge, don't you? Yeah, so the front nails are quite a bit longer than those back ones. Her feet are probably pretty sore just because of the nails. There you go, good girl. Yeah. Okay, good. I have to 
bring out the big guns for this one here. See if I can keep it. Okay, I know. There we go. Yeah. If you can see it went right around. Okay, I know we're doing it. Good girl, you're halfway now. Okay, let's get this other half of her done. <laughs> you poor thing. Okay. You're in there somewhere. Okay, let's see. Okay. See, this top is matted, but the bottom's actually not too bad. We'll see. I'll probably cut quite a bit of it off just to make it an easier. Okay. Kind of bulking up here, so I think that's where I'll take it off. And I don't have to try to comb that out. Take that one. All right, let's get that off of you. Okay. some length, but not really want to work through that other, even thin it out because there'd really be nothing left. Okay, good. Now I'm going to use the clippers on her face. She really doesn't bring those ears around. Kind of round them a little bit.
Okay, so I'm going to go back to the number seven. Okay, maybe a little break there. I'm going to keep going. Good girl. scissors now. <laughs> she doesn't like those clippers. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. curled around too. this one. You gotta make those feet kind of sore. Hey, don't squeeze. Hey. Trickle it. Okay.
No, wait. Okay. There, I know that was a long one. It's kind of sore. Those nails are so long, can make those paws really sore. I know, I know. Good girl. Hey, no. Let me do it. There you go. It'll feel better. All right, and then the dupe claw here, which again is curled around. So I have to use this one. Otherwise, if you use a regular one, it would pry that nail away. There we go. Good girl. Now I can trim a little bit more. There. Okay. Three paws done. Okay, mover. Mover and shaker. Okay, we'll do this now. Give it a little break. I like to change it up a little bit because otherwise uh, we get sore standing in a certain position. Okay, well, I'm going to see again at the to get out. Good girl. Let's see where it kind of naturally will stop there. Okay, I'll cut this side off now. There we go. So you can just see it's just really tangled in there. So I don't want to pull too much here. Still get lots. Yeah, she really does curl her. <laughs> I'll just try to layer it. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, 
Okay. 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 wax build up in there so I'm gonna make sure I clean that out with the q-tips not too much hair thankfully but Okay, good girl. All right, so I'll be putting that solution in after the bath. And then I'll clean those ears out with the twist. I'm just pulling, oh, I think you're stepping on your hair there. There we go. Okay, let's get that rest of that hair off of her. I'm over. I'm over in a shape, eh? Right? using a 10 instead. She doesn't like those back legs. Little arthritis on this one. Hey. Oh, that's how she doesn't get brushed either. Hey. Hey. She can still move around now. <laughs> My chicklet. Chicklet. Hey. Hey. No. There you go. Good girl.
You gotta try, right? Girl. As it gets matted, and of course the pee, and then gets matted some more, and gets matted some more, and some more pee, and then it just gets really clumpy in there. So, luckily, it looks healthy. Sometimes you can get a real ugly rash in that area or a yeast infection. It's really good to keep that area clean. Hey, baby, do okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna turn that baby. I think the pail is gonna have to go that's clumped really thick right here. I'm gonna try using a number five, so maybe keep a little bit of it, but. I always tell the owners that the matting determines the cuts, so. Hey, hey. Hey. a little bit definitely not a lot but okay yeah <laughs> look at your little wing ears <laughs> are you listening to us mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so bath time. Ooh, come on, baby. Good 
good girl. You feeling better now? And you can have your bath, and you'll be able to cool down a bit. Uh, 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 -huh. Need a wall, but not like the fronts. But most likely still sore. There we go. Okay, good. Now we can come. Okay, good girl. Okay, try this again. Little steps. I lift it too much.
church now. <laughs> I know. Okay, good girl. I know. Good girl. Now this feels so much better. But there we go. Okay, back to the table. for blow dry. <laughs> so I'm assuming she's going to be a mover and a shaker for this too. <laughs> so we'll see how she does.
did pretty good. So it's always nice that when a dog comes in that matted and they still, you know, have some fur left. That's from the Pomeranian in her because her hair is so thick. Right, so I'm using a number five now. We'll kind of blend the two so that we can keep, you know, a little bit of length on her. So it's not such a drastic change. Still got some fluff. It's always hard to tell before the bath how much is gonna stay and fluff up. Yeah, I might just do that inside her. So this is the leg that's a little stiff, so I'm just gonna trim it up there. Good. <laughs> you like this one? a little bit drier but I'm not a big fan of the blow dryer. Okay. Get that solution in there and do its magic. Okay. I right, guess so I'm gonna try to get that wax out of there now. solution will help loosen that out. A couple of dry things. Dry it in there. One more just to make sure. A little bit of hair. There, there you go. Yeah, your ears look really good now. There, and then the final one. That's kind of what you want to get to. Okay. So this one, same thing, just going to get the gobs out really first. Okay, so by after the bath, kind of when it gets a little bit of moisture in there, and then again with the solution, it really loosens everything up. So it kind of brings it to the outer walls there. And you're able to get it out. When you are using Q-tips, you don't want to put it too deep in there. Any resistance and you stop. And it's just kind of, I just rub it along that to see if I can catch anything. There. And there's the grand finale of that. Good girl. Okay, so come here. 
Good girl. Thank you. Still got some sparky. I am going to just blow dry her a little bit here. See if anything fluffs up on her. solution in there though. Oh, <laughs> gonna loosen any extra wax that's possibly in there deep down because uh, when there is a buildup, sometimes there's some deeper down in there. So there we go. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you had a good, <laughs> have a good day and you enjoyed the video. So we'll see you again soon.